For most of the last three decades, Ken Griffey Jr. baseball cards sat near the top of the Hobby Mountain. As the popularity of junior cards climbed steadily through the first 11 years with the Seattle Mariners and then jumped into the stratosphere when he came home to the Cincinnati Reds before the 2000 season. Unfortunately for the Reds and Griffey, that marriage turned out to be not quite the dream match we all envisioned, and Griffey's star dimmed just a bit as his numbers tumbled and other superstars stepped into the spotlight. With the late career exploits of Barry Bonds and the continued emergence of early career greats like Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, and Ichiro Suzuki, Griffey lost his top-of-mind spot among many sectors of collectors. But make no mistake, Griffey was always there, plugging along with solid stats, even as his life body grew thicker, and even though it became clear that he wouldn't quite achieve the career milestones many had predicted for him. And all the while, he steered clear of the PED fray that dragged down the reputations of those who had overshadowed him. And in 2010, he retired with the Mariners. What could be better than that? As it turned out, Griffey wasn't quite done, because in January of 2016, as the game was emerging from the clouds of the steroid era in earnest, Junior was elected to the Hall of Fame, being named on the highest percentage of ballots, 99.32%, ever, and topping the great Tom Seaver's mark of 98.84%. That election was the red ribbon tied around the party papered box of Griffey's career, and his Cooperstown induction was the bow. In the meantime, Griffey's baseball cards still sit near the top of the mountain, ratcheted up perhaps a bit from their pre-2016 levels, but undeniable leaders among modern pasteboards. If Griffey had been born 20 years earlier, getting a handle on his cards would have been relatively easy, and you could have done that with a decent chance of collecting them all and amassing a junior master set. But since he debuted in the early years of the card explosion and helped taste in its advent, Griffey has been the subject of thousands of cards, making it nearly impossible to track them all. That doesn't mean that you can't wade through them, though, and zero in on the issues that matter to you. All you need is a guide. Luckily, we've done that legwork for you. What follows is a comprehensive guide to the Ken Griffey Jr. baseball cards, courtesy of some of the best junior resources on the web. We've organized these links into convenient chapters to help you find exactly what you're looking for, but you might just want to read the whole thing. After all, there's only one Ken Griffey Jr., but there are thousands of ways to collect him. You will find links to the table of contents and all chapter links back in our description. Chapter 2, The Minor Leagues Junior was just 17 years old when the Seattle Mariners drafted him in June of 1987, so it wasn't too surprising that they sent him to the low-A Bellingham to begin his professional career. Also not shocking was the fact that the talented youngster made short work of the Seattle's minor league system, stopping in San Bernardino and Vermont in 1988 before opening the 1989 season with the Bigs. Those two short years may have seemed like an eternity for Griffey and anxious fans, but they also gave future collectors a little bonus, minor league cards of the kid. Go back to the description and look at Chapter 2 links for the best places on the web to learn about Griffey's pre-rookie issues. Chapter 3, The Rookies Of course, the Ken Griffey Jr. baseball card journey gets serious beginnings with his 1989 rookie cards, and there are plenty to choose from. Go to Chapter 3, Description Links. Chapter 4, The Masters some collectors just have to have everything, and even if that's not realistic, you at least want to know about everything. When it comes to everything in the world of Ken Griffey Jr. pasteboards, the universe consists of 10,000 plus different cards. While you may never amass even a fraction of the Junior Master Set, these pages will help you keep tabs on what's out there. And some of them will inspire you with their ambition to piece together astounding Griffey collections. See Chapter 4 links in the description. Chapter 5, Best of the Best Aside from all-time great, Griffey defied categorization during his career, and so do some of the best Griffey card resources on the web. From top 10 lists to junior card galleries, these pages don't fit neatly into a particular shoebox, but they're a must-read material for any Griffey enthusiast. See Chapter 5 links in description. Chapter 6 Price Guide while standard out-of-the-pack baseball cards lost most of their value during the bust years, there is still plenty of action on the secondary market for premium graded and superstar cards. 
Many of Griffey's issues fit that bill on multiple fronts, and collectors understandably want to know what their junior cards are worth. Chapter 6 links back in the descriptions can help you keep tabs on the Griffey Junior Baseball Card Market, while also giving you plenty of inspiration for continuing to build out your own collection. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com